the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Let my eyes stream with tears day and night without rest over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest forage in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not. Disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us and break it not. Among the nations, idols, is there any that gives rain? Or can the mere heavens send showers? Is it not you alone, O Lord, our God, to whom we look? You alone have done all these things. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus dismissed the crowds and went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world the good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all who cause others to sin 
and all evildoers. They will throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we just heard at the request of his disciples, Jesus explained to them the parables of the weeds in the field. The main idea of the parable is the division between the good and the wicked at the end of time. Jesus strongly hints that until that final separation, good and evil will coexist in the world, in the church, and even within our own hearts, minds, and souls. The weeds and the wheat will grow together, and God will make the final separation during the final judgment at the end of time. It is not anyone's place to judge another person's moral quality at present, as judgment about people's motives belongs to God alone. One of Pope Francis's favorite themes is the importance of not being too quick to judge. Often we see ourselves as superior and label others as inferior. It's important to remember the words of St. Paul, who cautioned against making premature judgments. He said, do not make any judgment before the appointed time until the Lord comes, for he will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will manifest the motives of our hearts, and then everyone will receive praise from God. It's crucial to keep in mind that the Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in mercy. With true faith in the kindness and providence of God, we now turn to him with these, our prayers. That God may help us to have patience in our daily struggles with the temptations of this world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that we may always live by the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that we may not judge those who do not follow God's will, but instead pray that they may learn to follow him, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that we may be faithful to the words we have heard in the scriptures. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those discerning vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, religious life, lay ministry, and marriage, that God may guide their hearts toward his will, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, in a special way today, we pray for the repose of the soul of Sebastian Domingo. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those confined to their homes due to age or illness, for those in nursing facilities and hospitals, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions, we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we beg you to hear the prayers that we offer you this day and to answer them according to your will and help us to follow your will in all that we say and do. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. A new stay, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. A new stay, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. A new stay, qui toles peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer the following prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Anis Angelicus, fit panis hominum, dat panis celicus, figuris ter minum. Ores mirabilis manducat dominum pauper ser buset humilis. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Oh